Is your computer safe on the internet? How safe is it? Hi, I'm Mike Lucasio and I help people maintain their computer and repair their computer. In this video, we're going to talk about how safe your computer is on the internet and what you could do to make it safer. What I recommend for everybody is having an antivirus program with update files that's working. And I recommend you having a spyware remover program and a program that cleans out your cache and also cleans your registry out. And those three programs are a really good defense against viruses or any kind of infections you can get on your computer. So where do you get these programs? What programs do I need? Well, first of all, you have to go into your uh, hard drive and see if you have any of those programs on there. They might be trial versions, they might be out of date, and we want to take those off first before you install anything. So if you're on Windows 10, go down to your Start menu and right-click it, and then go into um, your Control Panel. Actually, left-click and go into your Control Panel and go to Add Program, Uninstall Program, or Programs and Features. Once you do that, you go click, double click on where it says uninstall programs and then look inside and it'll show all the programs on your hard drive and see if you have any antivirus or any malware remover software or anything like that on there. And if you do, highlight it, go up to the top and hit uninstall one at a time. And then we're going to put on our new software protection. Once you do that, you can close it out. You can go to Google search and go to a website called download.com and you're going to get a vast antivirus free version that's spelled A-B-A-S-T. Make sure it's for Windows 10. Download that. Install it. And then you're going to also go and download a program called anti-spyware, malware bytes it's called. So it's called malware bytes and that protects you from all kinds of different infections. So make sure you get malware bytes free version. You can also get that on download.com. Then you're going to get CCleaner. That's another little program utility that really is helpful and has a registry cleaner on it also. And you can clean out cache files and you can also clean your registry. So you get those three programs and then once you got those three programs in place then we're going to do a little bit of maintenance to get a lot of these temporary files off your computer. So once you download and install them, you have antivirus, you have your malware bytes, and then you have your CCleaner program all on your desktop. So what you want to do after that is you want to open up your browser and in your Chrome browser you want to go up to the three dots on the right hand side, click that go to history, hover over left to history, and click the history, and also once you click that, look on the right hand side of that screen, it's going to show you all your history, and we're going to clean your Windows browser, your uh, Google browser, Chrome browser, and then what you do is you hold the control A key down with one hand, and then once you highlight a bunch of those things on the right hand side in the boxes, then you're going to hit delete on the keyboard and you do that until they're all gone and then you can close it out so now you got rid of all your temporary internet history in your Chrome browser second thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to the start menu the Windows, um, Windows signal on the left hand side bottom left and you're going to right click it and you're going to left click where it says run. That'll bring up the run box. You want to type in the run box T-E-M-P in small letters. After you type in T-E-M-P, hit OK. The next screen you'll see a whole bunch of files on the right hand side. You're going to highlight one and then you're going to hold Control A and then you're going to click delete on your keyboard. So you're just getting rid of these temporary files now. Once that's clear you can close that out Go back to your start menu, right click it, left click run again, 
and you're going to type in percentage sign, temp, and then percentage sign again. And then you're going to click OK. Then you're going to go back in there to another area, and you'll see all the files on the right hand side. And you're going to highlight Control A, you're going to hit the delete key, and most of those are going to be gone. So you got most of them out of there. Now another thing I want to tell you is if you get a if you get a screen that comes up when you go in or before you get to those files that says continue, you make sure you click continue. So now you're going back to the you close that out and you're going back to your Windows icon on the bottom, you start, you're gonna right click it again, and you're gonna left click run again, and you're gonna type in prefetch, and that's spelled P R E F E T C H. Then you're going to hit OK. If that continue uh, screen comes up, make sure you hit continue. If it don't, it'll take you right to the folder. And then you're going to highlight that and do the same thing and get rid of all your prefetch folders. Then you're going to close that out. Once you close that all out, you can go back to the Avast on your desktop, the antivirus, and you're going to open that up and you're going to run a scan and then run a complete scan on your antivirus and when that's done it'll tell you if it found anything and if it found anything it's going to prompt you to remove everything and you can close that out when it's done then you can go to Malwarebytes free version and open that up double click it and run a full scan after that's done it'll prompt you to remove what it found on the bottom you may have to restart after it moves everything, even if you're on Windows 10. And then you close that out when that's all finished. And then you go to CCleaner. You'll double click on that. You'll click where it says Run. And it'll automatically clean unnecessary files. And then you're going to go to the left hand side of CCleaner and it says Registry Cleaner. You're going to click on that. Then you're going to go to where it says look for registry problems. So you click on that button. It might ask you do you want to back up the registry. If you want you can name it and back it up. Usually I just say no and I hit continue and then I hit find issues and then it will scan and look for issues and then after it's done it'll show you the issues that it found and what you do is you click where it says remove all problems. And then once you remove all the problems and then your computer is okay, then you can close out that window. And then what I would do after that is I would right click back on the back on the Windows icon in the bottom left and I would right click and then click on File Explorer and then I would click this PC. Then I would go to where it says my C drive and I would highlight the C drive and right click it and then left click properties at the bottom and click on properties and then you'll see scan disk we run the scan disk run the thing where it says clean system files wait till that's all done and once that's all done right underneath it it says optimize and defrag hard drive and you're going to click on that you're going to double click your your uh, uh, C drive and it's going to start optimizing and defragging your hard drive and getting all those files back and making your hard drive healthier. And once you do that, you can restart your computer and you can go online and you're going to be a lot safer. Your computer is going to be a lot more faster and it's going to be running better and it's going to be more secure. And now you have three forms of protection and you also have a lot of your junk files out of there. So hopefully you got some um, benefits out of this video, and if you did, I would appreciate if you subscribe to this, my channel if you're not a subscriber yet. Also share this video with your friends and other people on your list. And also, please like it and comment, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment. And I appreciate that, and I appreciate everybody on this community that supports me. I support everybody that supports me on YouTube. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.